There we go, ball speed over 100. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Again, I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, fellow employee. Jackie, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. So we are going to showcase the level of forgiveness in irons today. So this is going to be a very, very intriguing test. I'm going to get Jackie to hit quite the range of irons. We're going to start with blades and we're going to work our way all, all the way up to a game improvement iron. So for today's test, we have four different tailor-made irons. We got the tailor-made P7 MB, we got the tailor-made P770, we got the tailor-made P790, and we also have the Sim 2 Max irons. So there's quite the range. We're going from blades all the way up to your, your game improvement irons. And we're going to showcase the differences in distance and forgiveness with these irons. Jackie, are you excited to hit some golf shots? I'm ecstatic. You're yes. ecstatic? <laughs> I'm excited because, you know, once again, I like to include players that have a slower swing speed on, on the channel here. A lot of people will watch a lot of videos and get bored of seeing me hitting shots all the time. So it's going to be a fun test to compare, especially for players that may be playing clubs that are a little bit old for them, they're not fitted for, and it's really important to make sure they get club fitted for the right type of iron head that they should be playing. So Jackie, as a club fitter here at Second Swing, tell us how important it is to get fit into the right club head. That's super important. Um, I deal with a lot of customers online as an online fitter where uh, most of the time they're not in the right iron at all um, and a lot of it is just purely off of you know club head speed uh, swing speed where you know they're not getting uh, you know the right club in their hands so a lot of it has to do with you know maybe forgiveness as well as you know some some sort of distance iron for majority of golfers uh, where they might be hitting more of a blade which they probably shouldn't be so uh, it's definitely important to, to get fitted, whether it's online or in the store. Yeah, golf technology these days has improved so much. And as I mentioned, it's important to get fit, not only in our stores, but also online. We do online consultations and calls over the phone to get fit into the right equipment. So I'm excited to see Jackie hit some shots and compare these irons. Before we hit these shots, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty of other great content like this coming your way in the future. While you're at it, if you give us a comment and like on the, like the videos, we'd really appreciate it. Okay, Jackie, let's first start with the tailor-made P770 iron. So this iron is going to be kind of in the middle of the range. It's not going to be a full blade, but it's not going to be a full game improvement iron. It's kind of considered more of a cavity back iron. It's got 33 degrees of loft on it. I will get you to hit five or six shots with each club, and we'll really take a look at the numbers. And I anticipate some probably big differences comparing these irons. Okay, so Jackie, we've hit the P770 and P790 irons. These are the first, uh, first 12 shots that you've hit. Could you notice any differences in look or feel with the two models? Yeah, I felt like uh, P790 definitely was more forgiving. Uh, even on my miss hits, I was still you know, pretty consistent, as you can see there. The P770 definitely has a little bit, uh, is a little bit smaller. Um, not as much forgiveness that I felt throughout the club, but overall, uh, pretty similar in feel. Not a whole lot of difference, but I definitely could feel a little bit more forgiveness in this P790. Yeah, I feel like also when you were hitting the P790, you maybe didn't have the best swings on a couple of those shots, but it was also kind of interesting that the ball speed was still faster. So if we look at the numbers here, you can see your average ball speed with the P770 was 91.7 where your average ball speed with the P790 was 94.2. Mm -hmm. So even though your club speed was pretty similar with both those, just hovering over 72 miles an hour, was kind of interesting as your ball speed was a little bit faster with the P790, even though you probably didn't catch them perfect there as well, which right. is kind of interesting. Yeah, I feel like I you know, was hitting it straighter and, and further, uh, and overall, like I felt a little bit more confident with the P790 than the P770. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the dispersion pattern, you can see P790, that's that yellow circle. It was definitely a lot straighter. The P770 was just a little bit out to the right. Now, both these clubs are both the standard lie angle, and that's what you play in your, in your irons there, but it's just kind of interesting, the 790. And I want to just talk about the consistency with the 790. Now, check out that carry distance consistency on those five shots with that one. You had one here you hit really well, 
But even in, though you didn't catch it perfect, the consistent carry distance was kind of important there. Too. Yeah, and and for me, you know, consistency is more important to me than distance necessarily. So seeing those numbers, especially because you know a lot of par threes, I'm hitting a seven iron into those. So um, having that consistency in my irons is definitely more important than necessarily the distance on those. The one other difference I noticed, now this is also loft related, so the P770 has got 33 degrees of loft on it, the P790 has got 30 and a half degrees of loft on it, is the ball speed, so more ball speed with the club that's got less loft on it, but also the spin. So notice the spin rate was actually kind of significantly lower with the P790 than the P770. Mm -hmm. P770 was spinning a little bit more, a little bit less carry distance, while the P790 was spinning a little bit less, a little bit more carry distance, but you can kind of notice how it would roll on out a little bit more. So P790, 141 total, P770, 130 total. Mm -hmm. Now you didn't hit them perfect. Um, you didn't hit them maybe as high as I might have expected with the P790. You notice your stopping power was a little bit wider with the P790, but that's just showcasing the loft on that golf club. Yeah, I was kind of surprised, honestly, on how much like how low I was hitting the P790, I would have expected the same thing to have it go a little bit higher. Yeah, we, if you scroll over here to the right, you can see uh, it was about 10 feet lower than the 770 there too. And that's a little bit of a concern. <laughs> um, so I do want to throw another club at you here next. So a club that should fly a little bit higher. So the, the Sim 2 Max Iron. So we just got those in hand to fit with. So I'm excited to test those. You're the first person I'm going to get to see to hit them. So this is going to be fun. Yeah, let's go. There we go, ball speed over 100. So Jackie, first thing I noticed is, wow, two shots you hit right there, over 100 mile an hour ball speed. That had to feel good. Yeah, for sure. When I hit them well, as you can see some of the ones up there, you know, in the 100 mile an hour ball speed, like it felt really good, came off the face really hot. Um, felt good, for sure. Yeah, I want to bring up this shot that you hit. It was a uh, shot 18. If you look here, you can see not only was it higher ball speed, so you can see over 100, 100.8, but it also carried higher in the air, so it was 63 feet in the air, carry distance was up, spin rate was up, landing angle was also up. So those are all three very, very important numbers that we look at there too. So you can see up on the top right here, you can see you had four shots that you smoked with that club. There's a couple you didn't quite catch perfect. There's a couple of misses in there, but you definitely can see that separation with regards to kind of distance with, with those two irons. And if we touch on the carry distance, you were carrying at 131 going 144, which is the highest distance that we've seen so far. Yeah, I definitely, right off the bat, can tell, I mean, it's, it's definitely got, you know, a little bit bigger head for sure, and the forgiveness in it is uh, more than the other two, uh, but yeah, it felt good. I mean, surprisingly, uh, you know, get, when you have something that's, uh, you know, a game improvement iron, uh, for myself anyways, you know, I'm, uh, just, just the size of the club itself is a little bit off-putting just because I'm so used to something smaller, but was surprised by how well, like, it felt and, you know, how much I was confident with it in general. Yeah, I think the, the piece to kind of take away here is the, the cavity back iron, you've been playing like a cavity back iron in the past. You got like the AP2 irons, correct? Yep. So that probably is the closest kind to maybe like your, your P770. You said about 130 to 135 is how far you normally play your, your irons in, in other videos. Um, so you will notice that the height was 57 feet in the air with the P770. The Sim2 Max, the height was 58 feet in the air. So you didn't lose height even though you were hitting it further. So we would notice the carry distance, we gained about 12 yards of carry distance out of playing a little bit more forgiving club. And it helped with regards to your, your miss hits. You notice your miss hits here, we're going kind of the same distance as mm -hmm. your, your good shots essentially with your P770, which is something that would resemble your game. So it's kind of interesting, yeah, it, it's hot, it, it goes far. But the biggest thing is, yes, it's a little larger club head. It's just, you gotta figure out if distance or forgiveness is more important or if you're okay hitting a little bit shorter and knowing that you're gonna get punished on your miss hits a little bit. Yeah, I mean the P770 is definitely a club that 
uh, I'm used to and with the top line and just overall size of the club head. Um, but interesting to see just the consistency factor from all of them. I mean, honestly, it comes down to, to distance and uh, height that I'm getting off the ball and the spin in there. So, Yeah, height and landing angle is very important. So speaking of irons that may be a little bit harder to hit, <laughs> I'm going to give you finally the TaylorMade P7MB. So this is a blade. The loft on is 35 degrees. It's, gonna, it's probably going to look great. It's probably going to feel great to you. But I'm interested to take a look at the numbers and see if there's any big differences. Yeah, I've never really hit a blade, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> It'd be a fun test. So, Jackie, I got to hit uh, a full-on blade, and the first thing you mentioned to me is that it feels great. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it, you know, it resembles a little bit of what my AP2s kind of feel like. Um, obviously, the look of the club in general uh, at a dress is fantastic just because of the top line and, you know, it's, it's a blade, so it's going to look really good in general. But, yeah, it felt great. Um, obviously, you can see, like, on some of my miss hits, yeah, I mean, I knew right away where it was going. Uh, so I could definitely feel uh, the club head uh, versus, like, the Sim Max 2, like, a little bit unpredictable, but it's forgiving, so it's usually mm -hmm. probably going to end up pretty well. And with these, your, your miss hits are going to be a little bit more. Yeah, and I think it's important for customers to kind of figure out which club that they like the look of and the feel of and which one's performing the best. End of the day, the golfer, whatever they like the look of, is probably going to trump a lot of the, kind of the numbers there as well. But if the numbers are way off, we've got to be a realist here. We've got to make sure that right. we do get the best of both worlds, though, at the same time, because performance is important. At the end of the day, I mean, the blade's going to look exceptionally good. And there's not much of a, there's not much offset, if any offset, on this iron compared to, say, the, the Sim 2 Max. But you've got to understand what we're trying to do to help the golfer out. And that's mm -hmm. kind of the, the most important thing there as well. Yeah. I mean, the one thing I do notice with the 7MB is the spin rate is exceptionally higher. Yep. Um, you know, and that's, to me, like, again, comparing to my, like, AP2s, I definitely can stop the ball in the greens a lot better than I probably would with, you know, something that is maybe more of a distance or uh, game improvement iron. So, yeah, if you if you look at the the spin rate, you can kind of see here. It was going a little shorter. It was spinning a lot more. You will see the carry to total distance here. It's separated by about seven to eight yards essentially. We scroll over a little bit further. You can notice the landing angle and height was a little, little bit higher there too. But for your club speed, we don't need to maybe have that steeper of a, of a landing angle. Something around about 40 degrees is usually going to be pretty, pretty good. Um, this is you're just sacrificing out on, on, on distance a little bit there. Right. Uh, and it's going to help. Gapping is going to be a little bit easier if you're playing something that's going to go just a, a little, little bit further overall. Um, so that's kind of the important thing to pay attention to. Um, this ball is spinning more because there's more loft on it. So there's 35 degrees of loft on that pure blade. Um, versus the Sim 2 Max, which has 28.5. So that's quite a big difference there. And that's why, if you look at the distance here, you can see total distance you're separated by almost 20 yards. Carry distance you're separated by, I mean, that's probably a club, club and a half with regards to distance there. But that's just the loft doing its job. And you can also see it in the, the ball speed numbers as well. If you look at the ball speed, you picked up six to seven miles an hour more ball speed when you're playing the game improvement iron over the over the blade which is kind of interesting yeah that definitely is interesting i think like before we would do this i probably wouldn't have guessed that <laughs> but um no i think out of all like all of them i mean obviously the p790 is intriguing because just the dispersion alone i mean how consistent i was um you know with all of them almost so <laughs> I, comparing that to like the blade, you know, yeah, it felt good and everything, but performance-wise, you know, the dispersion is kind of definitely wider. Yep. Um, and when I'm looking for, you know, a, a club in general, yeah, a little bit of distance, but also consistency is my number one thing, um, because you know, as as an iron player, you want to be able to to have that consistency into the greens and be able to make birdies. I mean, that's that's how you do it. So. Yeah, there's no doubt that, you know, you can hit the blade pretty well. So notice we got 
three here that were, that were pretty solid, just a little bit kind of right of center. But then you'll notice you got punished on your miss hit. So you right. got these ones short right over there to the right, where we want to get something a little bit more consistent in, in this area there too. So it's kind of interesting, the P790. Once again, I'm going to touch on all these yellow dots here that are very, very close to each other here. And that stands out to me there as well. So yes, it's great that the Sim 2 Max you can hit it further, so if you look at these ones going quite a lot further there. But consistency for sure is kind of important. So I'm looking at this circle here, it's probably the straightest. Um, so it's probably going to give you that the best of both worlds. Definitely agree. Um, you know, I, again, obviously the, the blade is going to be the better feeling club, but overall, like, I, I enjoyed hitting the, the P770 and P790. They're very similar in feel. But, you know, just like our previous video with the P790, it seems to be something that's definitely intriguing uh, for my game. Yeah, and I know also with the P790, you weren't hitting those the best. You were catching them no. a little bit thin, and that was relating to the height a little bit being a little bit lower. Right. Um, so if you were hitting them really solid, I'd expect it to be a little bit more up in, up in this area. So notice you've got that one up here yeah. that did kind of go quite a bit further with regards to carry distance, and that was a good kind of bull strike there as well. But you will notice the level of forgiveness that you're getting out of, out of that club there too. So keep in mind it's important to test different models. Uh, this is a great comparison comparing quite the range. We're going from blade all the way up to a full on game improvement iron. And you can kind of see the general trends with a blade. Yes, you can hit great shots with it, mm -hmm. but you miss it, so you get punished. We look at the game improvement iron. Yes, the ball can go far, but is it consistent enough for that particular player? In the day, you gotta figure out, is distance my main goal? Is dispersion my main goal? And I would lean towards dispersion being the, the most important thing with an iron fitting. Absolutely, yeah, I, I, I definitely agree. And for myself, like I said, you know, I, I, hit, I hit like par threes, for example, I play from the men's tees. So a lot of times too, I'm hitting, you know, longer irons into, into greens. So for me, consistency is, a huge thing because I want to be able to be consistent with my irons and you know I, I might be hitting a, a five iron into a par three where everyone all the guys I'm playing with are are hitting you know wedge so for me I got to be able to be consistent with my irons if I want to keep up yeah I, I agree so for golfers that are watching here today this is a good comparison comparing quite the range of irons when you do come in for a fitting at second swing, you do, we do compare different irons and explain the differences between these irons. So make sure you come into our stores to get fit uh, by our club fitters. We also do fit over the phone and online at secondswing.com. So make sure we've got the best fitters out there in the country. Come on in and we will be able to help you fit into your new irons.